Hola amigos, eh, estamos una vez más aquí en Smart City eh, 2019. Hoy estamos con Miriam Riaggi, quien es la eh, eh, CDO de Suez Group. Eh, entonces vamos a entrevistarla, esa entrevista la vamos a hacer en inglés, pero bueno, esperamos que todo salga bien. Y bueno, pues muchas gracias por acompañarnos una vez más en, en un café Hugo. Eh, hello Miriam, how are you? Very good. <laughs> Very good. Uh, well, we we was talking about um, the smart cities and everything before we started uh, the interview. So, talk, uh, tell us what is going doing Suez in the smart cities. What is the expertise uh, and why we have to focus on Suez activities in order to not, uh, learn about the smart cities. Okay, so um, Suez, uh, first of all, to remind a little bit the, the activities of Suez, Suez is a worldwide leader in yeah. environment services, okay. so focusing uh, historically on water and waste business, so okay. uh, the whole value chain of water and waste, yeah. and uh, we have really an expertise of managing complex urban system, okay. especially in the water business, okay. and we what we wanted is really to reuse this Uh, engineering capability okay. and uh, this management of complex urban system okay. that we learned especially in our water business on other verticals mm -hmm. related to the smart city it can be yeah. lighting it can be security it can be uh, uh, mobility, mobility because we know how to manage uh, yes alerts yeah. coming from the field how to have people go on the field and ma and fix those alerts, how to create exactly. additional services thanks to data. Yeah. So everything that we've developed in our historical water and waste business, we can now use it in a more integrated approach okay. for the smart cities. You are working a lot with, with data and artificial intelligence. Yeah. How are you applying this uh, new developments in artificial intelligence? What, what, uh, what are the benefits or, or uh, putting that uh, new technologies in the waste and water and environment management? Sure, that's a good question. So there is a first set of uh, applications in performance. Okay. How do we operate yeah. uh, in a better way our traditional businesses okay. uh, thanks to data and AI? So yeah. I'm going to give you a couple of uh, examples. Yeah. For example, uh, in the water business, uh, we can use um, computer vision. Yeah. Uh, for example, to inspect the pipes. Okay. So instead of sending people to inspect yeah. the pipes, you can have... That, that uh, it's expensive and that dangerous. Dangerous, yeah. and very dangerous and difficult jobs. Exactly. So you can have uh, those uh, physical intervention of people, you can have less of them, yeah. thanks to AI, because you will you can send a drone or something to inspect uh, uh, your, your pipes yeah. and also use AI to predict uh, that uh, here you're going to have a break and okay. there is a need of maintenance and so on. This is, for example, in the, in the, water, in the water business. In the waste business, uh, for example, uh, on our facilities, uh, we can uh, also use uh, computer vision to Uh, identify non-conforming waste okay. entering our facilities okay. to be able to uh, remove this type of waste and yeah. not have a downturn. Because as of today, we have uh -huh. people looking at videos yeah. and uh, and the AI can enable them to identify really those non-conforming waste What? and not to have a, a breakout. And okay. maybe yes. another example, yeah. uh, we also have lots of projects around um, customer experience yeah. and uh, AI and natural language processing can help us, uh -huh. for example, assess the data that we collect in the conversation with our customers in our call center okay. to predict uh, the type of uh, planning that we need to yeah. do for our call center people and also better understand uh, uh, why do they calling us, why they are unhappy and so on, on top of okay. this question around the bill, but yeah. what, what's behind it? Yeah, where, where are you or, or, or where have you implemented these kind of solutions in the world? Because you are a world other company, yeah, sure. so where are you working already? Uh, so, for example, in the two examples I gave you, yeah. in, the water, in the water, so we have implemented that uh, in France, in Spain, and uh, okay. with, uh, We're in touch with uh, here in LATAM, uh, the LATAM. Uh, LATAM, you are having projects right now? Sorry? In, La in Latin America, yes, you have. Yes, sure. We have, for example, uh, a project where we want to uh, 
for example, use uh, AI uh, to mm -hmm. automate uh, the reading of the meters. Yeah. So as of today, you have a guy coming to read the meter the and, the, uh, and uh, no, taking notes and so on. With exactly. a picture, you can automatize that yeah. uh, and make it more uh, relevant, more accurate. And so yeah. this, for example, uh, an example of project we're implementing here in Latin America. Okay. Well, we, we, you know, uh, no iba a decir en inglés, pero para nuestra audiencia, pues ya ven amigos, eh, eh, Miriam está involucrada en todo este proceso de eh, manejo de información para cuestiones de, de ambiente, de manejo de basura, de manejo de, de agua. So, in, in, eh, well, sorry. No, 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 no. Well, eh, what, what is the most important issue you are uh, from Suez? The most important issue for the city right now? Is the water, is the waste management, is the environment? What, what is the, the more urgent uh, when we have to invest? So I think uh, the most urgent uh, yeah. in the water business is really the, uh, I would say the, the, the level of service uh, yeah. of water, water availability, okay. and the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, the level we need to invest to improve the infrastructure, yeah. to have a great level of service for as much as people as okay. possible so it's really that a key, a key priority uh, first and secondly everything related to customer experience okay. how do we uh, better understand our customers be reactive and so on and we are seeing increasingly more and more issues around uh, the uh, 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 environmental uh, issues like uh, air quality monitoring yeah. uh, uh, how can we make uh, citizens more participating into the, the creating new services for the city or okay. more involved in this in the management of the city so more this uh, yes really like uh, environmental services like air quality like uh, sustainable development topics and also involvement of citizens More, making them more participate to the, the, the life of the city, for example. Okay, well, pues ya ven hay eh, mucha información, muchas cosas que podemos hacer con, con, la, con la información y, y obviamente esos eso son expertos eh, acerca de tratar no solamente los datos, no solamente hacer una predictiva, sino más bien a, a, a aplicar inteligencia artificial para toda esa información. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos y bueno, pues estamos a, a la orden aquí desde Smart City Expo Latam 2019 y bueno, pues muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Thank Marianne. you so much. So let's talk. Let's take your coffee yeah. and cheers. <laughs> Salud, gracias. Cheers.